Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we're back out today. Normally, well, recently we've been going on that field down there, but we're actually going to go on a different field today. Uh, we went on that field a few months ago, um, but the crops were so big, we didn't last very long. Yeah, we went in at once and found a couple of cool things, like I found a military button and a, a, a letter off a print press, like a really old print press I think thing. we found a crusty coin on there as well. Yeah, so stuff there like is that. Stuff down there. But we've only been in at once, so um, we want to try and hit it today because it looks like the crops have been cut and now they're down the stubbles. Yeah, like the stubble looks really nice. Actually. Nice. So, uh, I mean, the scenery looks fantastic today. I'll show you some on the B-roll. Uh, we've got mountains covered with snow in the distance. Really gorgeous day today. Chilly, a bit but chilly. not too windy it and it's not raining. It was supposed to be horrible today. Yeah. It was supposed to be rainy and windy and horrible, but it seems to have calmed down. So we've got a few hours. I uh, just want to get back for four o'clock so we can watch the football. Um, so we'll see you on the first target. Okay, first target, straight on it. I think we've got a coin. Literally the first target. Normally I dig some trash first. Uh, I'm gonna have to give this a bit of a clean though, it's very crusty. Uh, see you in a second. Okay, there we go. Um, crusty as you like. But it's a coin, first target of the day, so we'll take that on to the next. Okay, so Marie just asked me to check a target there. Um, and I found one there, which was a ring pull. One there, which we think is a button. It is a button. Just a little button. No shank. Um, so we'll have a look at this one. Although Marie did say the target disappeared, so might give up on it. But if it's something, we'll show you. All right, just had this one up. Huge, massive piece of lead. Don't know if it's too big to be like a palm guard when they used to do the leather work um, or a weight maybe, but it's huge. No, it probably weighs about a kilo, so what's that, about £1.20 just in lead scrap? Well, hang on to that anyway. That's going to weigh me down all day, but never mind, let's carry on. All right, so Marie's got a 7980 on the VDI. It sounded really nice. I could hear it on the other side of, um, well, just over there. Let's see what it is. I'm going to drop it. Dang. What we got? A button. A button. After all that. Hey, let's carry on. Okay, next one up for me, a little bullet. Um, yeah, lots of targets so far today, but nothing too interesting so far. Hopefully the audio is a bit better this week, though. Um, last episode, I think we were talking a bit too close to the microphone, or because we didn't have the dead cats in, which we do now. Um, I think Marie's on the target, so hopefully she'll call me over in a second and we'll go see what she's got. Okay, Marie just shouted me over. She thinks she's got something. Could be a button, could be a coin. I think it's a coin. It's quite crusty. Yeah, I think it's a coin, but we'll have to give it a... Give it a squirt? A wash. All right, we'll come back in a sec. So we've given it a clean. It's still very crusty, but it is a George the Third. Is it a penny or uh, a half penny? Half penny. Yeah. Because uh, you can just see the line at the bottom there. Can get you in the sunlight. You can just see the line. The Britannia. At the you can make out Britannia. There. Can't make out the date though. So. Yeah, I'll just clean that when we get home. Cool. Oh, yeah. Cool. Right, coin. Um, I might have something over there, but I'm not sure. But if I do, then you'll see it next. Okay, next one up, I thought we had a buckle, but I think it's just a loop off of something. It looks very, very modern. I've got a bone to pick with you. Oh, ha 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 ha. Oh dear. Okay, just had this one up. Pretty certain it's a button. I thought I had a little silver coin for a second, because I could just see this side poking out. Um, might be a little bit of detail, just where my finger is. I'm going to have to give that a better clean when we get home. Nice, let's carry on. Okay, so here's Marie's next one. Just a plain clogged clasp. 
don't think it's got any pattern on. I'll wash it properly later, but I'm pretty sure it's just a plain one. I can't find a pattern one on the next field before, but I'm pretty sure this one's just a plain one. Cool. Better than buttons. I had a lot of buttons today. I think I've had about 10. And a lot of lead as well. Yeah. I've had tons of lead. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's carry on. All right. I wasn't going to dig this one because it sounded, frankly, hideous. But I'm glad I did because I've got a really nice little bag seal. Uh, let's get it cleaned up and I'll show you. And I think Marie's found something as well. Yeah, so we'll I, have a look. Seem, I don't think mine's anything good. I think mine might be some copper paper or something. It's very heavy. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's probably an old tap or something maybe. It might be. Cool, well we'll have a, give it a clean up and we'll have a look in a second. Yeah. But let's check this one out first. There we go, I haven't cleaned it too much. I don't want to take away some of that writing. But it, uh, Proxet and Ryland, which was a manure maker. And you can see a really cool imprint of the, um, the plough on the back. Yeah, it's very cool. That is really cool. It's like, you can make all, all the details sometimes on yeah. the lead ones. They they squish a bit and you can't make them out. But I mean, sometimes they, they fade as well. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, yeah, that is really nice. I really like that. That's probably the best bag seal I've ever found. Um, and your bit of I, copper... It was either a part of a tap or a part of a radiator or something. Yeah. Like, quite old, but... like Nothing, Not as exciting not as my exciting. little bag seal no. then. Right, let's continue. So just uh, beyond where Marie found that tap pipe thing, she just found a coin. It's very crusty though, I don't know if we're going to get let off it, we need to give it a clean. I think it's not going to be a lot of detail. Okay, well let's have a quick look, um, we'll come back to you if there's any detail. Cleaned it, um, toast. toast. Oh, well, on to the next. <laughs> okay, here's the next one up for me. Uh, when we were on this field before, Marie found like a printing press type thing. Uh, it was a single letter, whereas that is obviously uh, a few words. Um, it says class at the bottom, AMI in the middle, EXP possibly at the top. So, don't know, obviously some kind of printing thing. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. And let's, uh, let's get on to the next one. Well, we've just been in that field underneath the rainbow, but we didn't find our pot of gold, so we're going to try out this field. This is the first field we came in on this permission which has been dubbed the bottom field. Uh, lots of sheep on here. It is starting to rain, but it's only drizzle. So see how we get on. Marie's already started. We'll see you on the next target. Okay, that didn't take too long. First target in the bottom field, button. Sweet with a shank. Let's carry on. I thought I had a musky ball because it was just sort of like that, but actually it's got a little hole at the top and the bottom. So I think it's a weird. Is it like a loom weight? Is that what I don't called? know. Not too sure. Some sort of weight though. Because it's got some, it obviously went through it. Awesome. Yeah, better than a button. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have another crusty coin. But it's very, very, very great crusty. Tried to clean it first. Yeah. Didn't get much off it. No. He's dead. Not to worry. Right. Like I said, we're back on the button field. Looks like we've got a bit of rain coming. Great. Oh, uh car is just there. We're going to start heading back towards it now. So there'll be a few more, I imagine. On to the next. Uh, sun's starting to go down. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Marie's all the way up there. Just had this one up. We had a button a little bit like this one before um, with some silvering and a little picture on it. I don't know what it is. I think the one we found before was like a little horse's head. Um, but that's pretty cool. We'll have to try and clean that up better when we get home. Uh, hopefully there'll be another couple. We'll see you on the next. Okay, starting to get a bit darker now, as you can see. I think we've got a coin. Have to give it a bit of a clean. Yeah, let's give it a clean we'll get back to you. There we go. Um, yet another George III off this permission. Just about see Britannia there. I'm not sure how you, well you're going to be able to see it in this light. It's a little bit dark. There's Britannia anyway. Um, there, you have to take my word for it. George III. Give it a better clean when we get home. You can see some writing at the top left there. Alright, let's carry on. Alright, Marie is on to the ordnance. Yeah. Big, massive, huge, great big bullet. That's a stonker. Yeah, big lead bullet. Wicked. Alright, we're getting closer to the car. Okay, going to call it a day there guys, uh, it's gone really cold and it's obviously getting dark and we are both hungry this time 
and Arsenal were kicking off in about 45 minutes, so I want to get back for that. Uh, pretty good day today, actually. We had some yeah, pretty good finds compared to what we normally find down here. Yeah, we actually had a pretty good day, but we'll um, we'll do a proper roundup, and uh, yeah, we'll go there in a minute. Okay, guys, welcome to the roundup. We've got Sirius with us as well. Peeling something because you won't get off the sofa. So. Yeah, you won't move. <laughs> um, right, you go first. Okay. What did you find? Um, so uh, I had some scrap as well, but these were the more interesting scrap. So I had a really old tap, which I need. And I got the top to go with the tap. That is not nothing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I don't know what, where, when it's from, but it's nice and green. Um, I not only not I was going to chuck it, but then I saw that Gareth Dukes of Derbyshire had one very similar that he found, and he was and he got quite excited about it. He got quite excited. I was like, oh. <laughs> um, I got some scrappy bits there. I've got this, which I don't know what it is. It's it's almost like a mount for something cylindrical. Yeah, I've got no idea. Tom and put a picture up, and if anybody's got any ideas, let me know. The more interesting stuff, I've got lots of buttons. What we've got three, six, five, seven, eight buttons on. Most of them are just plain buttons. One of them is very, very, very tiny, which I was very pleased that I'm dropping it. That Don't my, drop it. My dear has picked up, if you can see that, it's very small. Um, and it's got some little dimply bits on. So that was the only really interesting one. I have a plain, but I like them, a clog, clog clasp. I can never quite get my mouth around that one. Um, it doesn't have any pattern on it or anything, but that's cool. I've got three coins, two of which are ridiculously crusty that you can't see what they are. One, I think we could just make out George's head, but not really. George third, I think. Yeah, so. anything else. And then I have a, what I thought was a giant musket ball when I first pulled out the hole, but it's got a hole that goes all the way through it, if you can see that. Um, so Tom thinks that's a, some Doom kind weight, yeah, possibly. a weight, some kind of weight anyways. Um, and then what I also have is the most biggest a bullet. A huge bullet. It's massive. <laughs> it is an absolutely huge lead bullet. So, uh, um, yeah, that's the first one that I've had that's like actual bullet shape rather than just like a little round pistol shot and thing. And it's massive. Well. Look like, at the, yeah, look at the size, look at the size difference. If this one hit you, I think you're losing a limb, really. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, so that's what Marie found. Um, I'll start with my buttons. I've got five buttons, uh, all of which were pretty rubbish, apart from one. Sorry, six, six buttons. buttons. Um, this one here, which has got some silvering on it, and I think it has an image, possibly of a horse. Or horse's head uh it's a little bit hard to make out but i did find one a while a back i'll try and get a picture i need to clean that a little bit better um so that's me buttons i found this i thought that was a buckle to begin with but i think it's like a, well, I a think loop it off a buckle, but it's just i a think modern. no i think it's off like a dog lead it could be uh because i noticed when we we're out walking the boys the other night um where their leads clip mm. onto just like that i think that's what that is um me top part of the tap which goes with Marie's tap. It does not. Little bullet. <laughs> um, possibly part of a buckle. There's some nice decoration on nice there. Nice decoration there, yeah. Interesting. Um, a crusty coin. Possibly a farthing, but it was really crusty. Uh, a George III, half penny, I believe. Um, there is a little bit of detail, but again, rather crusty. Um, I found this, which has got some... Print on the bottom of it. Half. As you can see, half the writing it says class one, I think, that way up. AMI and then EXS, I think. It's obviously a stamp. So it's half of something. And it's yeah. interesting because we found um, a, like a letter, like an older letter. I have found a W before that was part of a stampy thing. So it maybe had something to do with printing on there at some point. Quite possibly. And then my find of the day it was this gorgeous back seal. Uh, it's for a manure company um, called Procter and Ryland. Did do a little bit of research on it, and they were a manure company from the 1800s, I think, uh, if I remember correctly. A little plow on the back there. I've put some pictures in as well. Um, and that's it. So we're away this weekend. Uh, we're going down to Cambridgeshire again. So another chance on the Field of Dreams, hopefully. Uh, I need to just um, ask the farmer. Hopefully it's okay, even though there are crops growing at the moment, but hopefully we'll, he'll still let us go on. Uh, so hopefully next episode is from the Field of Dreams, uh, otherwise it will be from up here. Uh, so we'll see you on the next episode, guys. Bye for now.